Being a patriot today is almost an insult. I think that the concept of patriotism today is one that uh, is not universally accepted. We all go through a lot of training. As for, uh, Delta Force is, of course, um, uh, a lot more secretive. It's about taking you into an unstructured environment and seeing if you can build the structure that you need to survive and succeed uh, as a result of uh, what you are as an individual. General Boykin is a hero to me and to millions of other people. You know, he's put his life on the line for his country and my country. Someone came woke me up about seven o'clock and informed me that the U.S. Embassy in Tehran had been seized by a group of radical students who were followers of the Ayatollah Khomeini who had returned to Iran in February of 1979. Well, I thought it was part of the exercise. And then they said, no, this is real. Uh, load your gear, we're heading uh, into isolation to start preparing for a rescue attempt. General Boykin, uh, did what he could to rescue them and again put his life uh, on the line and some of his men were killed in that sandstorm. And as I stood there in the desert watching in horror as I saw this thing go up in flames, I prayed to an almighty and a sovereign God and I said, God, I, I know in a natural sense these men are dead, but I'm asking you to spare them. Right now, uh, America is very naive as to the enemy and what is really going on and who the real enemy is. America is not even aware of that cancer that is coming to, in, to destroy and take over our civilization. The problem is most Christians have surrendered. Christians are afraid to speak out because they will be criticized, because you're not tolerant. And there is this notion that we can take the easy way out and we can appease. And all that appeasement does is encourages them that they're winning. Thank you.